now who are nucleophile and who are base i minus i minus would be a nucleophile or a base now i have written i minus below nucleophile that doesn't mean it cannot be a base think independent of that i minus can be a nucleophile or a base now let's look about at its stability if this i minus is highly unstable it would have less time to go for the reaction and to survive in the system so this will be a base if i minus is stable enough it would be a nucleophile that would be the rule of thumb to look at species and judge whether they will be nucleophile or base now hi is hell lot of a strong acid now hcl is a strong acid you know from class 6th hcl hbr is stronger than hcl hi is even stronger than hbr hi is a very strong acid hi is a strong acid that means conjugate base must be highly stable now i minus is a conjugate base of hi that means i minus is highly stable that is one way of looking at it another explanation why i minus is stable because i minus is a big atom belongs to fifth period the size of p orbital will be very large electron in that p orbital will be diffused electronic density would be very less that makes ion highly stable whenever electronic density is less ions are stable be it positive charge be it negative charge that's why resonance brings about stability resonance spreads of the charge into throughout the uh, substrate throughout the molecule that decreases electronic charge density and that brings about stability so i minus being stable will not be a base will be a nucleophile another reason why i minus cannot be a base because a base reacts with hydrogen after reacting with hydrogen there's a bond between hydrogen and the base if this bond is not very strong enough the abstraction of hydrogen will not be easy because when you abstract hydrogen from the base the bond of hydrogen and the substrate is broken that means some energy would be given that energy must be compensated by the new bond that has been formed the new bond that has been formed is between hydrogen and this base and if this base the bond between hydrogen and base is not strong enough then the driving force to break the hydrogen from the substrate will not be strong enough so the high bond between hydrogen and base must be strong enough now you ha we ha we have discussed lot many times that when is a difference huge difference between in the size of atoms then there also comes a huge difference bit in their size of orbitals all right suppose this or p orbital is very small another p orbital is very large then the area that would be in overlapping would be very small and the electronic density of this big big orbital a very tiny fraction of that electronic density would be involved in this overlapping had it been a smaller orbital then a sufficient fraction of the electronic density that is there in this orbital would be in overlapping so a small amount of electronic density would be in overlapping that will cause a more amount of attraction now electronic density is same in this big orbital and this small or orbital corresponding to one electron so here it is more diffused that means in this amount of volume a less electron would come in the same amount of volume if the orbital is a smaller a more electron will come because here also you have one electron here also you have one electron so size being small the density would be greater so bond will be stronger so when you have difference in size of atoms then the bond becomes weak hydrogen of first period iodine of fifth period difference is huge so bond the bond that will be formed between i and hydrogen once hydrogen is abstracted from a substrate will be weak that also adds to the reason why i minus will not act as a base to act as a base bond with hydrogen must be sufficiently strong all right then in the then extending the same idea br minus will also be a good nucleophile not a good base similarly cl minus will also be a sufficiently good nucleophile but not at all a good base now who are who will act as a base the base will be one which is unstable and also be forming a strong bond with hydrogen like hydride ion itself hydride ion can act as a base because it is highly unstable highly unstable because electronic density is very high because the size of hydrogen atom is very small so electronic density in hydride ion is very high that makes this hydride ion highly unstable when it is highly unstable it requires to get rid of its negative charge quick enough and that pathway is provided by 
reaction with hydrogen when it's anything reacts with hydrogen by definition that is a base so hydrogen is a good enough of a base similarly ch3 minus methyl anion will also be a good base similarly amide ns2 minus is called amide ion now this amide will also be a good base because nitrogen uh, is a small atom of second period although electronegativity value is high but if you have been asked is ammonia acid now ammonia is not at all acid we know ammonia is a base ammonia is not a acid that means conjugate base is highly unstable that's a easy way to judge whether ns2 minus is a stable ion or not right okay so ns2 minus is a conjugate base of ammonia ammonia is not a strong acid if it's a weak acid so if something is weak acid its conjugate base will be unstable if something is a strong acid its conjugate base will be stable as was case in hi hbr hcl all right so ns2 minus is not a strong acid ns2 minus is uh, ammonia is not a strong acid so ns2 minus is unstable conjugate base that makes it a good base because ns2 minus is unstable it requires less time to complete its reaction that makes it a base rather than a nucleophile so given an option uh, to ns2 minus to act as a nucleophile or to act as a base ns2 minus will prefer to act as a base that means ns2 minus will prefer to abstract hydrogen that means ns2 minus will prefer to complete the reaction fast because ns2 minus is unstable now that will be the rule of thumb unstable species will be acting as a base stable species will be acting as a nucleophile okay so extending the concept if you have a negative charge on sulfur now this is a stable this is stable because it is a bigger atom now you have to remember any atom of third period will be capable enough of holding negative charge phosphorus sulfur chlorine third period atom third period are called bigger atoms now the charge density on those atoms is less owing to the bigger size of the orbital and that makes them stable stable means nucleophile unstable means base now there will be a borderline the borderline would be oh minus hydroxide ion now hydroxide ion is good enough to act as a nucleophile is good enough to act as a base and this will be the most common nucleophile and the most common base in the entire organic chemistry sometime this will act as nucleophile sometime it will act as a base now we can moderate the activity of oh minus as a nucleophile or we can increase its activity as a base how to do it Com on uh, we can do it by controlling its stability if we make this hydroxide ion more stable we can make it act as a nucleophile if we decrease the stability of oh minus we can make it act as a base easy enough to follow unstable species base stable species nucleophile now how would we control the stability the any reagent when it is in system is surrounded by solvent there is a solvation of those reagents and solvation we have already studied so i'm not going to repeat that again but by controlling solvation we can control the stability of oh minus if it is surrounded by more amount of solvent then more amount of energy would be released and it will be more tightly held and if it is more tightly held and then it is not in a great hurry to go and put its electron that stabilizes oh minus if it is not tightly held by the solvent then it is not attracted by any other charge and this negative charge if it remains unattracted will die to go and pour its electron into some someone's orbital that makes it unstable that makes it a base now if we increase the polarity of the solvent if we increase the polarity of the solvent then the solvation process will increase that will stabilize oh minus so if we keep oh minus in a more polar solvent then oh minus will act as a nucleophile if we keep oh minus in a less polar solvent then that will act more as a base so on changing the polarity of the solvent that is the mechanism we have to moderate this oh minus to act as a nucleophile or to increase its activity to act as a base now there are two very 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 common solvent that will be used in organic chemistry one will be water another will be alcohol water is h2o 
oxygen abstracting hydrogen uh, electron from both these poor tiny small hydrogens it's a fairly enough polar solvent when we have uh, alcohol then on one side we do have hydrogen on the other side we have r instead of h roh is any al any alcohol this r can be any alkyl group so on one side is abstracting hydro electron from the hydrogen with the same enthusiasm as it was doing in case of water but from the other side instead of h we have a big boy here r so the abstraction capacity of oxygen would be reduced here so the amount of electron it will abstract from the other bond will be considerably less than the amount of electron it would have abstracted in case of water so water being having hydrogen on both sides of oxygen allows oxygen to drag more electronic density into its orbital that makes it more polar right and in case of alcohol this r group will restrict that abstraction enthusiasm of oxygen making it less polar so alcohols would be less polar than water right so less polar solvent will cause less solvation less stabilization base more polar solvent more solvation more stabilization nucleophile very 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 important aqueous oh minus aqueous means aqueous means water aqueous aqua water aqueous oh minus means oh minus in water aqueous oh minus nucleophile alcoholic alcoholic oh minus means oh minus in any alcohol alcoholic oh minus would be acting as a base this is very very important whenever we have aqueous oh minus written anywhere you'll always treat that oh minus as a nucleophile whenever we have alcoholic oh minus written anywhere we'll always treat that oh minus as a base and carry out elimination instead of substitution all right so this would uh, compile the concept of nucleophile and a base and once we move into reaction and then again you have to judge which reagent is nucleophile which reagent is base that will be uh, i mean you'll get very very handy only once once we start solving problems but the theory part have been compiled to the best of my effort and i think this much suffices to study at the class 12th level you'll not be requiring any other concept for clearing exams like idj so this is all from nucleophile and base now we move on again to elimination and substitution